very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so going directly as usual to the euro USD uh, what we can see from the euro USD it has reversed earlier than what I thought because I was expecting for the euro USD to reverse exactly at this level of the resistance however it reversed at the previous support level right here so it reversed at this previous support here and also the re previous resistance here and also as well the previous support right here so all in all we can now look at the weekly now th remember this is the daily candle this is daily candles going to the weekly chart what we can see here what we are telling from the weekly candles is we had here a previous support level which has been followed by this bullish breakout candle and now the market <coughs> approaching the very same level of this previous support for me this is an obvious buy this is obvious buy because seems now the next candle is gonna be a blue candle and the market will continue to go more up but not for sh not for a long time it's gonna be only for a short time I believe this week we can expect to buy the USD for a short time and then once it's reached this resistance again to make the final attempt it's gonna actually continue its bearish momentum and the market will fall breaking from this previous support here now what should we do going to the follower chart sorry go to the daily candles now the daily candles it seems like the euro USD is gonna fall a little bit down to hit this previous support here as mentioned before and then it will actually fly a little bit up here to make one final attempt of the resistance and then it's gonna fall down so meaning this week we can look for about three or four candles these are candles <laughs> so they will hit actually this previous resistance right here this resistance zone so actually let me tell you something in short uh, short words going to the four hour chart we can start buying the euro usd at this level exactly let me just uh, mention it buy the euro usd on 1.10611 this is gonna be our level to start buying the euro usd and we can exit the trade once it hit this previous resistance right here on 1.11492 so this is going to be our tech profit level for the euro usd now of course again i'm telling you the euro usd all in all all in all is going down but that's not going to happen this week i believe it's going to happen at least in the week after because now the next movement that the euro usd will move to hit this previous support here which is in my opinion cannot be ignored then it will make one final bounce uh, to go sorry one final bounce to go up here make, make one last attempt on the resistance and then eventually it will fall down now I cannot tell how many candles that's gonna take let's say for example that it took one day only for the euro USD to reach this uh, resistance here we cannot tell maybe in one day Monday or Tuesday there will be a huge candle or a huge uh, volatility in the market and the candles will actually reach this, this resistance and then in my opinion that will be the best time to start selling the euro USD so please pay attention to what to what I'm saying this is only a good level for the bounce which I'm expecting to be lasting for one week if the if the bounce will take less than that then we can start selling the euro USD at the level 1.11492 the whole idea is uh, to catch all the pips possible in my opinion and we can catch the buy and the sell as well so let's see what will gonna happen that is my expectation for the euro USD now let's go to the GPP USD uh, GPP USD should be now good to start selling or oh, sorry uh, trading because they officially announced that brexit has been delayed until january 30s or 31 i'm not sure anyway uh now what we are looking for is in my opinion a correction for the pound usd now it is stuck on this resistance level on the daily candles let's uh, see on the weekly candles how does it look now it seems like there will be 
more of the bearish uh, momentum for the pound USD because we are right here on the previous support and I don't see there any strong support on the level actually I just see a strong resistance level which is right here that is very strong resistance and right here as well so all in all we can expect for the this, this is weekly candle by the way going to the daily candles we can look that we are on a previous uh, resistance here right here which was also a strong support in the past right here so we can expect for the uh, for the pound USD to make a small bounce up to this level and then it's gonna be good to start selling all the way until hitting this previous support level right here which was also a previous resistance we are looking for a lot of pips actually almost 260 pips so let me just tell you going to the back to the four hour chart <coughs> we can see that the euro the pound usd has made one small bounce on this uh, resistance right here let me just be more accurate as much as possible i think like this let me just be sure uh you know my friends i'm not really doing uh this analysis offline i'm just doing it online along with you so, yes look at that perfect perfect this is indicating a very strong uh, strength on the resistance uh, level so going back to the current price we can tell that the pound usd should be actually good to start selling at the level of let me just mention it here 1.28536 that's in my opinion gonna be really good level to start selling the pound usd uh, and then we can keep our trade running let's just be safe my friends okay so I will just pick this previous support right here like that since this is the four hour chart actually to be honest with you I'm expecting it to keep falling down all the way to hit this previous support right here but however I just want everyone to be safe and to make profits from this analysis that's why I'm, I'm gonna pick this previous support here because there is a good chance that the market once it reached this previous support here maybe it will bounce so there is a chance for the pound USD to actually bounce after creating the support number one to see it bouncing here on support number two. So to be safer, uh, we're going to we're gonna pick this uh, take profit level on um, take profit on 1.26949. Correct? 26949 is correct. So we can look for that again we have to pay attention for the candles we have to be careful for the price action but eventually I believe it's really gonna be a good idea to start selling the pound at this point 1.28536 because it's just at the top of this resistance I don't see it going uh, farther than that that doesn't going higher than that then it will eventually reverse the uh, to this level of the previous support let's check now the AUD USD so the AUD USD has made let's go to the daily candles and what we can see here AUD USD has made a good bounce from the previous resistance on this level so this is very basic uh, support and resistance understanding because we have here a previous support which has become here a resistance one and the market reversed at the resistance number two now what's gonna happen what we are seeing here in my opinion is double top and after seeing that we can expect for the AUD/USD to start uh, its bearish to, 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 it will continue its uh, bearish uh, momentum to go to keep going down all the way to this previous support here and perhaps it will even break from it so what is the movement now what should we do with the AUD/USD now it should be easy actually because we are seeing this previous candle here this previous support and remember I'm on the daily candles now so seeing this on the daily candle we can see that we had here this previous support level which has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and this ver the very same level was also a previous support do you see something here something really interesting we are simply seeing history repeating itself look at that check it out we have this uh, reverse uh, uh, pin bar and we have this candle which is by the way my favorite price action I'm telling you always indicating that the market should, st should start reversing and going down 
when you see the candle at the resistance having a small uh, wick at its top with long tail at the bottom is indicating that the market should be going down everyone who's following me for a long time they know this fact about me now look at that the very same thing is happening again the same thing here is just repeated here so we see this previous support with the reverse pin bar and we see this candle here is my favorite price action indicating for a reversal so i believe that the market should actually start reversing and going down all the way to hit this previous support and even the support level so this is daily candles what should we do with the AUD USD? Uh, the choice is yours because we are expecting for another attempt for this resistance um, on let me just tell you on 0 0.68353 and uh, that is should be should be actually a good level to start selling the AUD USD because it already had one attempt of the resistance and it seems like uh, the market is going to reverse because we see this price action here indicating that the market might actually go up a little bit here to make final attempt on the AUD USD level on the resistance level here and then it will start going down so if you want to exit your trade with the profit I believe that's a lot of pips yeah 119 pips uh, let me just mark it for you this should be actually a good level to exit your trade right here that should be on 0 0.67405 that is your tech profit level and hopefully AUDSD will uh, follow our uh, signal and it's gonna be good to start selling the AUDSD at this point uh, of the resistance level so let's now go to the USD CAD and the USD CAD has actually continued its bearish momentum exactly as I expected it because it was uh, on this uh, previous support last week and I saw I thought uh, it will continue its bearish momentum that is exactly what happened and it went down for almost 70, 70 78 pips actually going to the weekly candles let me just remove all of that so going to the weekly candle it doesn't seem like the USD CAD is reversing and going up at this point I believe these are three full bars we are seeing here in uh, front of us these bars indicating that the market has a strong bearish momentum the sellers seem to be uh, winning this battle look at that if we, uh, if we want to read these candles on the daily candles what we can read here we can read here let me just uh, zoom it in more <clears throat> that we had here a full, bear, uh, full bearish breakout candle all right followed by small full body of the uh, of the candle and followed also again with another full bar of red candle now the next candle is interesting this one here this is indicating a very weakness from the buyers it's indicating that the market is not able to go up at all at this point here even though it was uh, at the previous uh, resistance but still though the buyers they ended the day with a very weak reverse pin bar followed by the next day with another full bar of red candle and then even on last Thursday the market closed as, uh, as this uh, doji indicating also that the market still could be in controlled by the bears or by the sellers now Friday market candle also closed as a red candle so it doesn't seem like the buyers have any chance on this market on this market that's why I'm telling you most likely we can expect for the USD CAD to continue its bearish momentum at least at least to reach this previous uh, let me just be more accurate this support right here now why this will why this level why picking this level among all the other levels because this level we can see in the past it was a strong support right here and here and here and here and even here as well so this level cannot be ignored and the market seems to continue its bearish momentum all the way until it reach this level of the previous support maybe after that it might continue to go more up however I believe for the for the next week we can expect for the USD cat to continue its bearish momentum for another almost let's say about 80 pips 
for almost 80 pips it's gonna continue its bearish momentum you know something it might be even going more perhaps until this level however again this is daily candles so we are not gonna mess around with it a lot so yeah usd cad actually there is no no, no need to mention any levels to be sell or uh, buy because I think it's going to continue its bearish momentum. However, we can uh, start selling the USD CAD immediately. I don't see it going up or even make uh, any bouncing at, at all. And even if it does, it's going to be for short time. I think maybe about 10, 24 pips at this level. If you must have a signal for the USD CAD, let's set it right here exactly at this level here so USD CAD should be good to start sell if we ever witness a bouncing level on 1.30871 that should be good to start selling the USD CAD and then let me just uh, make it better all right if it uh, make any bouncing here for about 28 pips However, I don't think this is gonna happen because it's, I think it's gonna continue immediately on our Monday opening the bearish momentum all the way until the take profit level of 1.29829 so this is going to be our take profit before we can expect a reversal on the USD CAD let's check the USD GPY USD GPY has reversed exactly as I thought it reversed exactly on this previous support level right here creating a support number to on the daily candles all right good so that was on the daily candles so it's continuing its bearish momentum nice very nice now what's gonna happen well I believe since we had here a small resistance level on the USDCPY for the four hour charts uh, I think it's gonna continue its bullish momentum but not exactly at the moment let me just uh, make some uh, trend lines drawing here um like that and then like that yes all right so i think usd gpy is gonna continue its uh, bearish momentum only for a short time i think it's gonna be good to start buying the usd gpy exactly at this level of the previous support uh let me just mark it for you 108.514 oh come on man uh, buy on 108.514 let me delete the other one exactly like that and we can expect the profit to be on let me tell you since we are expecting for the USD GPY to reverse uh, this support level I think it's gonna continue rising all the way up at least to hit this previous resistance right here so we can look for about about 81 pips of profit so the take profit will be 109.9297 that's our take profit for the USD GPY and hopefully we are going to get them all let's check the USD CHF so USD CHF uh, has not move based on my analysis i was expecting for it to go down actually more uh, and at least to hit this previous uh, support level but indeed oh sorry uh, it just did the opposite and went exactly the opposite direction however what happened here is very interesting because the usd chf is now hitting a very strong previous resistance level look at that that is very strong not only that but it was also here using this wick here it was also a previous uh, strong support level that's indicating that the USD CHF should be good for sale immediately without any delay you can start selling it once the market open on Monday and we can look for let me just tell you yeah this is really the best level to start selling the USD CHF I cannot think of any better level to start selling it so 0 0.9943 should be really perfect to start selling the USD CHF and we can look for at least at least until it had this previous support level on so for almost 51 pips um, 
actually, actually it, ca it can move more until this previous support level here to make one final attempt to it, yes. It perhaps, yes, I think let's go to the weekly candles. Yeah, definitely, because now right now it is on a very strong resistance level. I don't see it uh, breaking out from this level at all at the moment. So again, going to the daily candles, we can expect for the USDCHF to make a reverse at least uh, all the way to hit this previous support level here. So yeah, I don't know where that gone. Where is that gone? Um, this one here, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So this is you're gonna be your good level to start selling the USDCHF and the take profit will be good at the level 0 0.98531 should be our take profit hopefully we are gonna get them all and now let's check the final thing which is gold uh, go to the four hour chart gold has actually moved exactly based to my signal because you can see the reversal happened right here and if I'm not mistaken, I told you to exit your trade at the, sub, at the near support, which was right here. So those who have taken my signal for the gold, it was very, very beautiful and very accurate as well. The pair reversed exactly on the level 1495 without any single pip uh, uh, more than that. And if you entered and exit the trade based on my signal, you should have at least 122 pips of profit from the gold. That's sweet. So what happened here? Let me tell you what happened here. This movement happened because of some news about a possible deal between USA and China for the economic deal or so for the economic uh, or the commercial uh, issue they have. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, that's the reason for this jump for the gold. And after that, I believe this was because of the news. And right now we can see the scandal closed here Friday this one uh, sorry this is the four hour chart sorry okay so indeed seeing the scandal closed friday night we can see this strong pin bar at the resistance level that is a very easy sell it's easy to tell that the gold should be on sale however we should be careful about when to start selling gold i think we just need to wait to need to wait for it to reach this previous resistance right here exactly like that okay like that so let's see the one hour chart indeed we can see on the one hour chart that we have this is one hour chart okay so we can see that we had here a resistance and we had this bearish breakout candle and most likely the gold is now reversing on this previous support here because here you can see guys we have here, we have here a support right so most likely uh, the gold is reversing at this support going up to hit this previous uh, resistance and this will be our best chance to start selling the gold all the way until hitting this previous resistance right here so we are looking for almost 113 pips of profit so this is one hour by the way <clears throat> so gold should be good to start sell on 1506 sorry what i'm doing 506 1506 is good to start selling the gold i don't know why the color changed it should be red actually and we can keep our position all the way until it hit this previous resistance right on 1495 let me just write it for you my friends uh, take profit on 1495 that should be good level to take profit from the gold. So I really hope this week will be very profitable for everyone. Uh, it should be it should be really very very promising week because the market now is calm after some uh, after the market now is calm after the Brexit news has been decided that there will be Brexit in, uh, uh, the Brexit has been delayed until uh, January 31. So I believe the market should be good to start trading. Uh, gold uh, sorry uh, GPPY again GPP again sorry and yeah I think uh, it will be good week and I wish everyone very profitable week and a lot of good deals however I hope that was uh, informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching